Let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, could you be mine? Would you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Anyways, every time I put on my apron, and I try to put on my apron before I craft, I think of Mr. Rogers because when he would, I guess, get home from work or something, I'm not exactly sure what he was doing, but he would change into a sweater, you know, and then zip it up and put on tennis shoes. Anyways, that's what I think of when I put on my sweater, my um, apron, but him putting on a sweater, which has nothing to do with Jay's video. <laughs> but today's video is part of the first Friday playlist that I host with my dear friend Tammy from the Rusty Willow. I've actually met Tammy in person. She is super creative, and I just love watching her flip furniture and do all the other DIYs that she does. It just, she's mesmerizing. Anyways, I'm gonna leave, have a channel, a link to her channel in the description box below, as well as the playlist. I hope you check it out because you don't wanna miss out on the inspiration. Yeah, that's enough talking about it. Let's be about it and let's get crafting. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I've tried to film this, I don't know how many times, but I'm making a book stack and I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color Maze and I'm just giving good coat um, on all the sides going around. Then I'm taking Waverly chalk paint, or no, ceramic coat paint in the color Watermelon and then Waverly chalk paint in the color Pool to do the other two books. The bottom book stack is going to be in the Pool color and just giving it a really good coat. Now the type of wood I'm using is not really the best wood to make a book stack because you have to really sand it, but anyways. The middle section is gonna be in the watermelon color. I just love this watermelon color, y'all. In fact, I had to order it online because Hoppy Lobby wasn't carrying it and I just love it. I cut out a decal using my Cricut and the letters that I used were you know, a little on the thinner side, so some of them kind of mess up, but we make it work and we make it work in the end so it's fine and you see I'm doing it again the letters kind of pull up a little bit and then I lose one letter and have to put it back but it all works out and here is me doing the top layer see this is where I lose a letter I'm like what the heck get back down then I'm using some wood glue that I got from the Dollar Tree to attach these all together because I do want them to stay connected I'm taking some ribbon it's black with white polka dots I got it from Hoppy Lobby on sale 40% off and I'm just tying that first piece in a knot. And then I'm gonna make a finger bow. Now, what I did not do is like twist it so that the polka dots are on the outside of all the bow, because I noticed later that one of the, the bow things is just black, but anyway, it's fine. It turns out cute, because look, this is how it looks. Super cute. I love it. I have a ton of that fencing material left over. I don't know if I'm ever gonna run out, but it's really not the best to do these kind of projects, but we're gonna go with it anyway. I found this piece on Etsy, and I'll link it below if I can find it again, but I just used the shape as an inspiration, and I kind of mimic it a little bit, but I'm using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Snow White, and I'm giving it a good coat all over, top, bottom, all around sides. Then I'm taking Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Maze and another yellow. It's probably lemon or fruit yellow. I don't know. But the bottom portion here is going to be the lemonade. And I am just putting probably way too much paint <laughs> on this area right here. And I'm just kind of making a little wavy line at the top and then, you know, wiping off the excess. In fact, I have to get a napkin. Well, there you go. I'm getting a napkin because I just had so much paint on my paintbrush. Then I'm using a ruler to mark where the straw is going to go. And this is, I'm using watermelon chalk paint, uh, ceram coat in the color watermelon for the straw. And this is where it kind of gets wonky. I started to just freehand it because, you know, like measuring with my heart, you know, and it wasn't working out. It was just looking a little wonky and I, I, I wasn't like how it was turning out. So I took some painter tape, painter tape, and I just put the painter tape where the lines were and I was trying to see if that washi tape was going to fit in the white space there it wasn't so what I decided to see I was trying to decide what am I going to do here I just end up using the ceram coat watermelon paint and just painting that whole area watermelon and then I'll go back in and add the stripes and I'm using that maize paint to kind of paint in the lemon that's in the corner there I'm going in with some washi tape and what I'm going to do is just kind of figure out where I want to start it and try to make it even so it doesn't look wonky or anything like that. And then I'm going to paint it with the snow white paint and that's how it's going to make the stripes on the straw. Oh, 
well, I didn't really show you much of it. <laughs> it's done. And so now I'm removing the washi tape and the painter's tape to reveal how it looks. It looks kind of cute. And I'm taking that pool color and I'm going to do the top portion of the mason jar in the pool color. But I use that painter's tape to kind of protect the straw area so I don't accidentally paint on the straw area. And on the lemon and in the bottom of the mason jar glass, I use some snow white paint to kind of sketch in some details and add some interest to that you know so it doesn't just look like yellow paint it looks like it's got lemons or something floating in it and then i used my cricut to cut out a decal and i don't know i'm using oracle vinyl and I, it to me it just doesn't seem to work as well as the the other kind of vinyl that i used which i can't remember the name of it but anyway here we are we're adding that to the the little piece there and I'm taking a black sharpie marker you can get these at Dollar Tree but probably less expensive if you get them at like the home um, like Office Depot or something like that Office Max or whatever anyway I'm just outlining and adding some dimension and some detail to the piece and this is how it turned out super super cute now the inspiration piece did have a bow on it I'm not putting a bow on mine because I don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to use it on my tear tray and I didn't want it too fussy so I'm just going to leave mine just like this. Y'all, I have a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I'm going to have a link to that in the description box below, but it's missing something. It's missing you. You need to join because um, I'm trying to build a supportive and creative community and I need more help doing that. I need more people to join. I need more people to comment and I need more people to share what they're working on. And let's just to support one another and um, just come, I don't know, that's, that's what I want to say. <laughs> Sometimes I just start rambling. So anyway, let's get back to the video. The next piece, I'm using a tray from Dollar Tree and this Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White. I use this, these colors all throughout the video, so excuse me if it's repetitive. But anyway, I already took off the sticker off the bottom, and I'm calling that the bottom bottom because this is the bottom of the tray, and I'm not using this Waverly antique wax in the color, no. Antique wax in the color, what? Waverly? Wax in the color antique, my gosh. I use it so often, you think it just would like roll off my tongue. But anyway, I'm not doing the inside bottom of the tray because I may do something else with that later and make it a double-sided sign. But I'm just painting on the wax and then I use that little scrap damp piece of cloth to wipe it off. I do that to the inside of the tray, like where you see me doing it there and then the outside um, around the edge. Then I take that snow white paint and I just paint the front of it, just, just like that. And then I take some painter's tape and I'm gonna mark it off. And I'm using a little smidgen of tape as a spacer and just kind of, you know, I mean, I, I try to make it even, <laughs> I try. I'm gonna paint it with Waverly chalk paint in the color maze. <laughs> as I said, like I use this in the entire video, but just in case you forgot, that's what color it is. I saw. Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY, she always lays the paint can down. I thought, you know, I thought it was a good idea because then that way you can kind of screenshot it if you need to and you can check back and see what color it actually was. Anyways, so I'm painting across as you see me doing here. Then, I'm not really doing buffalo check, but kind of a buffalo check. So I put the tape going the opposite way and I'm obviously I'm not going to get uh, a small check because I'm using the painter's tape instead of washi tape or whatever but I'm just trying to position it so that it'll be, you know, all good right there. And then I'm gonna go in with another coat of the maize paint. And you see me here, I'm marking where the original painter's tape needs to go back. And this is something that you definitely need to do if you're making a true buffalo check because it can get kind of messy with all the paint and stuff, but I'm just marking it off and then I'm going in with that paint after I let that dry, you don't pull the tape off, but you let it dry. And then I'm just using those marks that I put on the tape as my guide. And I am putting um, that down. Now on a buffalo check, here's where you would put the third darker color. You have the base coat of white and then I use the yellow. And you'd put a darker color. I don't. I just do it like that. But then I take, I think it's folk art in the color moon yellow. And I'm just adding some lines to the, I was trying to decide if I was going to do it on that side or on that side. Okay, let's go on on that side. And so I just add some lines and then I flip it around and I add lines going the other way. 
Then I take that watermelon paint and my little, I don't know what the tool is called, but it has a little dot on the end. So I use that to make a little dot and then I take a paintbrush and I draw a line and I go all the way around the outside of this little tray just to kind of give it, you know, a little bit, bit of extra zhuzhing. Then I take this cereal box, it's Reese's Puffs in case you're curious, and I draw a circle. And originally I was gonna, well, it doesn't matter what I was really gonna do. <laughs> so I'm cutting out the circle and then I'm folding it in half, trying to be careful. Looks like a little taco, but it's not gonna be a taco. And I cut it in half. And then I'm using that watermelon paint and I'm gonna paint just one side of the circle. You're not gonna see the other side cause you're gluing it down. But um, I just paint one side of the circle. There we go. And um, yeah, just painting it. I paint both of them. I end up only using one though. <laughs> And I'm using those two colors of green. I don't know what colors those are. I don't have them handy, but I go around the edge and I'm just making little, little brush marks like this with the lightest, the lighter color green. Okay. It's real easy to do this. Then you go back with a little bit darker color and you put little hash marks like that, leaving a little bit of space so you can see both green colors. Then when it's all dry, take a white paint pen and just do a little squiggly line like that. Isn't that super cute? I just love that. And then I take a black paint pen and I make little seeds on the, well, here we go. Let's, let's, let's do it right now. I make little seeds on the watermelon. Then I cut out a decal with my Cricut and it says sweet summertime. And again, it doesn't want to come off the thing very well. That's kind of annoying, but I was going to put two watermelons here, but they didn't really fit right. And I, fudged and you know fidgeted with it it just didn't fit right so ended up just gluing one to the little corner here I think it looks cute and it's gonna look really cute on my tear tray last project y'all turns out so pretty I really really love it I got this wood round from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna draw a circle in the center and look at me trying to measure the middle you know I usually measure just with my heart but what I decided to do was put that in the middle kind of draw around it then I was going to measure it because I thought well it doesn't look like it's even or anything so I erased that I put the little sit, uh, terracotta pot back in there and I just kind of turn it around measure as I go until I get it to where I think it's as much in the center as possible then I take this painter's tape and I'm just going to be marking off lines all the way down and I paint it with Waverly chalk paint and the color Snow White, as you see me doing here. And I press down the tape, you know, as best I can so that it doesn't bleed or anything like that. We're going to put the painter's tape like over the white to protect the white. And, you know, <laughs> as best you can. It's not necessarily perfect, but, you know, we don't have to be perfect. Then I'm trying to take this Waverly <laughs> chalk paint in the color ink. It didn't want to stay so that I could like make it cute like Brenda does. And then I just take the paint and I'm going to paint black in the open spots. Y'all. Yeah. Um, this just turns out good. Um, I really like it and I can't wait to put it up in my house. But um, I, had, I had to put some extra tape because it wasn't covering it right. But anyways, that's it done. And then I take the Adrift color. Y'all, this color is so pretty. I've used it in another video. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, if y'all didn't know, um, today is May. Uh, What's well, May when I'm filming this? And um, it's my birthday month. So I'm going to be the big 5'7 towards the end of the month, on the 27th, actually. And um, I just love this color. Y'all, it's so pretty. Anyways. I'm hoping to get 10,000 subscribers. I only need like 2,800 more. I mean, it's not much, you know what I'm saying? We can do it. We can do it if we put our back into it. Okay, now that I've got that painted, I'm gonna be adding some flowers. And I'm just using a sponge dauber that I got from Dollar Tree and that beautiful watermelon color. I think these colors pop so well against each other. Yeah, anyway. Um, anyway, so the goal of mine has been 10,000 for a little bit here. And uh, I'll get there one day. I mean, I'm at 7,000, I think 200 now, you know? So, hey, that's good, right? Now, I do have to go back, back to the DIYs. I do have to go back and kind of repaint over because the black is and the um, adrift color, you know, it, they're showing through a little bit. So I do have to go put another coat of paint on there. And I try to add a little bit of white too to kind of give it some, you know, dimension and interest. 
I'm going around with, I think this is Kelly Green or Spring Green. And I'm using two different colors of green. I didn't put those down, and I can't remember what they were off the top of my head. But just use any two green colors that make your heart happy. And I'm just tracing around because I'm going to be adding leaves and kind of like, it's kind of like the vine going around. And <laughs> I'm not super good at making leaves, but here's my attempt at making leaves. And, you know, the thing about art is just try. It may not look perfect. It may not look exactly like your inspo piece. It may not look you know, whatever, but just, just try. And you you might be surprised with the results. Now we're going to put a decal on the front and I cut out the word Ola. Not to be confused with Olaf, but Ola just means hello in Spanish. And so rubbing that onto the paper transfer tape, peeling back paper transfer tape. And then we're going to apply it to what hopefully is the center ish of my sign. I'm taking a white paint pen and I'm outlining the word so that it pops more. I do have to go over some of the areas a couple of times and I don't have the steadiest of hands, I guess, because some of them will look a little wonky, but it's okay because I really am loving all of the colors. I love how this is turning out. Then I go in and I add some detail with a black Sharpie marker to the leaves and the flowers. Just kind of adding in some little swirls and swoops and things like that. Then socks is going to help. <laughs> but I'm taking the white paint pen and again just going in and highlighting some of the areas on the sign. This is how it turned out. I did take the adrift color and kind of go all the way around the sign and I added a bow. Not super happy with the bow but you know what it is what it is. But y'all just like the sign. I just think it looks so pretty. Um, I just think it looks so pretty and I love it. It's my favorite piece of the whole video. Let me know which one was yours in the comments below. And let me leave you with a subliminal message. message. 10,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Um, I probably mentioned this in my video, but to this month, May, the month of May is my birthday month on the 27th. So, um, I'd love it if I hit 10,000 subscribers in my birthday month. I mean, I think I'm just like 30, no, 2,800 away from that, <laughs> that goal. So not far. I mean, it, it's possible. It's possible. If you just like share, comment, like, subscribe, all those things, it helps get my channel out there. Anyways, um, tell me which one was your favorite in the comment below, uh, comments below because I hope there's more than one comment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, enough of that. I have a lot of fun crafting, and um, I appreciate you coming and sharing my craft space with me today. I'm going to have um, links below, so check it out. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here, on like on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok, if it's still around, <laughs> or on Instagram or something like that, or Facebook, my handle is Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. <laughs> Bye!